Hello, Leos. So I'm going to look into your situation. Um, whatever the cards want to say. Could be about love, finances, career, psychic awakening, just whatever the story is. You know. Strength. We got the lion right there, right off the bat. King of Pentacles. Page of Swords. Okay. Eight of Swords. Interesting. Emperor. Hmm. What is this? The Queen of Swords. Sorry about that. The Sun. The devil. Hmm. Clarify the King of Pentacles and Page of Swords. Nine of Cups. The Moon. Six of Wands. Clarify the devil. Three of Pentacles. The Magician, ooh. Okay. Mm. Oops, sorry. Queen of Wands, okay, interesting. I'm really, I had to pause for a second and just look at them and just because it's so much energy here. I'm like, what the hell is going on with you guys? This really feels like a third party story to me. This feels like almost like you chose. Okay, so I guess there's there's different ways that this could go. It feels like you chose someone else. Like you chose someone that's more toxic over someone that's that really had genuine love for you. Um and this could also just be that you're currently with someone toxic or you're currently attached to someone that's toxic. And there's someone that loves you that's watching this and they want, it could be like an ex. It could also just be someone that you're friends with and there's like a connection there, but you've never really explored it fully. Um, it's just somebody that admires you. Somebody that thinks that you deserve a lot more than what you're used to is the energy that I get. So take it as it resonates. Could be a friend, could be a secret admirer, could be someone from your past that's just kind of watching you, kind of aware of this energy. Maybe you're even like in a relationship on social media. Maybe that's how they know. Maybe they're not saying anything, but they're just seeing your, your updates or your pictures. And they're like, oh, I don't get good vibes from that guy or girl, male or female. But I'm getting major third party energy here. So it's like, there's someone from your past. that's actually a pretty good person. This person could be, have, could have a lot of earth in their chart, in their chart, in their chart, in their chart. Oh my gosh. Sorry. And it's like they're watching you, but it, it seems like you've chosen someone else. But I, again, I don't know if you've consciously chosen someone else. So like I said, this could be that you actually were with this person and you chose someone else over them. Um, or they took too long to get their shit together. So now you've decided to go forward with somebody else. But the person you're kind of moving forward with might be a little bit toxic. You might have gotten in a situation where you were just hurt because you were tired of waiting for this person to get their shit together and come towards you. So you kind of just like, you know, it like went with, you know, not Mr. Right, but Mr. Right now kind of energy. I'm just getting that basically you've chosen someone toxic over someone good, but take it how it resonates, you know. Um, there's different variations of this story, even though it's the same story overall, there's, there's different ways that this could go um, with this energy group. But yeah, so this could have been a conscious choice. You could have actually, you know been with this person or waiting for this person and said, you know what, enough is enough. I'm going to go with this other person instead. It might not be what I want, but you know, whatever, at least I don't have to be alone. Um, or, or it just could be, maybe it's been a while since you guys have talked and, you know, this person's just kind of aware of this energy and, and you've gone off with someone else. And now this person's really regretting not making a move sooner. 
I get like from this King of Pentacles, I get like a very sweet, gentle energy. And again, please, um, male or female, even if I say King, it could be a queen. It, it could, you know, even if I say it's a him, it might be a her. I just, it, it takes a lot to be like him, her every single time. So please just know that even if I'm saying him, it might still be a female. So just take it as it resonates. You know, there's no, there's no specific gender here. Could be gay or lesbian relationship as well. Just, just take it how it resonates. But, but yeah, this King of Pentacles, it's like they're sweet and they probably have a lot of earth in their chart. But I just feel like they're so, um, I don't know if complacent is the right word. It just feels like they took too long. It feels like, like they're, they're, they're working up the strength to communicate with you. This person, this King of Pentacles wants to communicate with you. They want, they have so much to say to you. Page of Swords is like quick communication. It's like getting a message or some kind of love letter, even in the mail. Some of them might not even know how to message you. And they might be planning on writing you like a love letter or something. Like and leaving it in your mailbox or something of that sort. A uh, page of swords or like under your door or wherever. But page of swords is, it's, it's like quick communication, but it's also very intense communication. It's very blunt, very honest, you know, kind of laying their cards on the table. And I feel like this king of pentacles is trying to work up the strength to lay their cards on the table, to, to make this move towards you, to communicate with you, to say what they really feel. Um, this might have been someone that just waited too long. This could even be like someone that you're friends with that had feelings for you, but they didn't want to ruin the friendship. And then you kind of started dating somebody else and they feel like you deserve a lot better than that, but they don't really know what to say. It's like, but they, they, they feel like they're losing their chance is what I'm getting. And they feel like they just want you to be happy, even if it's not with them. Because intuitively they get bad vibes from this emperor. Or this Queen of Swords, male or female, like I said. But intuitively, this this King of Pentacles over here gets bad vibes from whoever this person is. But it's just, it's strange because it's like they tried it. This King of Pentacles tries to work up the energy to send you this message, to have the strength to communicate, you know. And then, um, sorry, my camera's being weird. Just give it a second. And then, you know, they get an Eight of Swords energy, though, where they start, it's, it's like they trap themselves. They don't realize how easy it is to just send the message, to just communicate. They start looking at all the swords around them. And this could be, like I said, someone that you're friends with. So this person might be like, well, what if I sabotage the friendship and I lose her for good and she doesn't want anything to do with me after I confess my feelings because she's chosen this other man over me, you know? Or like, what if, you know, what if I make things worse? Or what if this, what if that? It's like they go to, it's like they go to type out this message and confess their feelings or they, they, they psych themselves up. They work themselves up. They're like, we're going to hang out today or we're going to, we're, I'm going to, I'm going to call or message. Like, I'm going to say it today. I'm going to say the thing. I'm going to say what I need to say. Finally, you know, I'm going to test the waters. I'm going to, I'm going to create an opening there. And then they get stuck in their head and that eight of swords energy, and but they're they're starting to use their intuition because the moon and nine of cups, it's like intuitively they know that you are their wish their wish fulfillment. You, they they see you, they have you on this pedestal, they see you as perfect. You know, and they want to be public with you. They want to be you know, this could be like you could be dating two different men and you might be keeping one of them kind of hidden. And this person might be at the point where they're like, I want to be public. I don't want to be hidden. I want to, I want this relationship to be public. You know, someone wants to be like seen. They want to be heard and understood. Um, and I'm getting for some of you, it's like you've chosen an emperor. And this emperor isn't even looking at you. This emperor is looking at a queen of wands. And it's like some of you chose someone else some of you like I said this was a friend you didn't even know that they loved you and and you know they thought they had more time to kind of build up to a relationship but then you started dating someone else because you weren't aware of their feelings for others this could be someone that you like someone from your past or someone you waited for but you got tired of waiting um and they thought they had all the time in the world to come back you know so this person is sweet this person is a decent person from what I'm feeling but they're just a little too shy. They're a little they 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 could they could grow a pair is is honestly the energy I'm getting. Not like I don't want to say that. That's kind of harsh. They're they're um I shouldn't say that. That's really harsh. 
like they're sweet and they're very loving and they're very loyal. I'm getting like a very loyal, very kind, very supportive person. So it's good energy. It really is good energy. It's just like, it's just like when they go to message you, it's like they can't, like they can't, they psych themselves up. Like they try to get their strength together to do this, to confess their feelings for you. You know, whether it's a friend, whether it's an ex, whoever it is, this, this King of Pentacles, it's like they psych themselves up to to tell you how much they love you and how much they think you deserve more than this. And then they, it's like, they always back down. They always get stuck in this eight of swords energy. It's this cycle that they've gone through. So like I was saying, for some, you didn't know that they had feelings for others. You know, you know that you knew that there was mutual feelings there, but you were tired of waiting because it's like, you kept feeling like they were going to message you any minute and they just never did. And you were just so tired of like them just not messaging you. Um, and it's like, I don't know, this person's really sweet. They just, they need to be a little bit more assertive. They need to be a little bit braver is what I'm feeling. But I feel like they're starting to use their intuition and realize that you're their wish fulfillment. We're going to look into more of that in just a second. I want to go into this, this energy down here too. A lot, you guys are going through some shit. What is this? Um, you got some weird energy going on. You got a weird love triangle going on here. But yeah, some of you chose someone else. And you know what, I just want to say, like, if someone's taking too long, like, if this King of Pentacles is not right for you, if they have been taking too long to get it together, and you're like, you know what, it's time for me to go on my own path, or go, go, you know, towards something else, that's totally fine. But don't jump into something with someone out of loneliness. You know what I mean? Like, don't jump into something out of, this is almost like a rebound connection or something that I'm getting here. It's like, you, t you got tired of waiting for this person, so you're like, oh, I'll, I'll go with this person, you know? Or like that, this kind of energy where it's like you, like you chose someone else here. Like you didn't deal with the, the feelings for this person. I almost feel like there was no closure. Like you just waited for a long time and they just didn't come back. And so you're like, you know, okay, fine. I'll, I'll go with this person instead. Like I'll, you know what I mean? Like you develop some feelings for someone else, like onto the next one kind of energy. And like I said, for some, this was like a friend who didn't even know had feelings for you. Take it as it resonates. But either way, this person, this King of Pentacles is watching you and they think that you deserve a lot more. Like they're also watching this person and they're like, no, like she can do a lot better than this. Because I feel like you've chosen an emperor that's very kind of like macho and guarded and kind of just, I don't know if abusive is the right word, but I just get, I just get kind of like fuck boy vibes here. It's just kind of like, eh. And this, this man, he sees it. He sees it. He might see this man's picture and be like, yeah, this guy is toxic. I don't like this guy. You know, like he, like he intuitively, this King of Pentacles senses like this, this wasn't not the right person for you. For some, I feel like you might have chosen this emperor because you were so tired of this King of Pentacles not stepping up and being the man you needed that you wanted somebody that was really like macho and strong. But unfortunately, what you have here is a fake alpha male. This is not a real alpha male. Like, so let me explain that energy. So there are like genuine alpha males that are confident and assertive and know who they are and know what they want. And they're leaders, but they know when to let you have the floor. They they know when to calm down. They could they they just have like this natural power about them. So they don't have to be the loudest one in the room. You know, they can just sit there and they they just have this natural confidence. You know, they have this calm energy even though they're very strong and very powerful. What you see a lot in society is the fake alpha males, the wannabe alpha males that are macho and they're always the ones that are, you know, yelling at the bar and trying to start fights and, and puff their chest up and um, compete with other guys and talk over you and talk over other people. And, you know, that's not an alpha male. That's someone that's insecure, that's trying to cover up their insecurities. A real genuine alpha male is very rare these days, but when you find one, like, it's much different energy than the fake macho wannabe alpha males, okay? Let me tell you that. Like, a real alpha male is just naturally confident, naturally in their power. They don't have to do all that extra bullshit to prove themselves because they already know who they are. They already know what they want. All right. This person is pretending to be an alpha male. They're pretending to have it all together. They're pretending to be masculine and strong and brave, but it's all just an act. They're all, it's, it's just icky energy. They're just, they're, 
it's just pretend, you know? I feel like this is less between you guys, honestly. I hate to say it. I know it probably hurts you, but if this is your story, and this is, I know this is kind of a specific story, so this might not be for all my Leos. This might be, you know, there might be a specific story that needed to come out for somebody, and it might be that, you know, next time I get your story, because usually I channel the same energy group, but I'm not 100% sure if this is the same energy group this time or not. This might be like a, a special one-off time when this story needed to come out for a few select people. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens with it. But this is lust. I think you like this person's aesthetic or you like the energy that they're portraying, but you have to realize that it's all fake. Like, I think it's like you didn't deal with your feelings for this other person, you know? I feel like this is all just, it's just aesthetic. It's just, it's all, you know, and this person's a player. Look at this person. He's looking at someone else. So either he's got multiple women on the side and you're not the only one. Or he's um, in love with somebody else and you're a rebound for him. Maybe you're both rebounds for each other. I don't know. But he's looking at someone else. He's looking at other women. You're not, you know what I mean? Like you're here and you're in your power and you're trying to match his energy. But he's not focused on you. He's focused on other women. He's, it's, it's like a player energy or just somebody that's in love with somebody else. They're trying to distract themselves with you or with other women because they don't want to deal with their feelings for, for this queen of wands. Um... Like, for some, that's like, this man is in pain, this emperor is in pain, and he misses somebody. Um, and, you know, he doesn't want to think about this Queen of Wands because she rejected him. She's in her power. She doesn't want this, this guy anymore. She sees through him. She's living her best life. And so he's distracting himself with you because he doesn't want to feel this pain that she caused him. I hope that makes sense. But, um... I know some of you are probably like, damn it, when am I ever going to get it right? And it's like, you guys can get it right, but you just have to recognize, like, men like this are not alphas, okay? Please just let me tell you that. If they're competitive, if they're overly competitive, macho, yelling, talking over you, just just being too damn extra, just, just doing more than they need to. Just, it's like someone looks at you and they, they get all, they puff their chest up. It's like, what are you, what are you doing? Like, chill. <laughs> You know, like, this is not an alpha male. So I think you need to recognize that. Like, if you don't want this king of pentacles, that's fine. You can manifest a real alpha male. You can manifest somebody that is naturally confident and genuine. But I feel like this connection was rushed. Like, you went into this for the wrong reasons. You went into this out of loneliness or because you were tired of waiting for this guy. Or because there was just no other options available. So you're like, screw it. Because I'm just getting that this is, like, mostly lust. Um, it's not like a soul connection here is what I'm feeling. This isn't, it's like you guys are trying to match each other's energy because you don't want to be alone, but there's, there's not a genuine deep soul connection here. You feel me? This is like lust, like aesthetic, like you like his style or he likes your style. Um, trying to, he's, he's trying to forget her. You're trying to forget him. You're lonely. Like it's something here. It's not, you know what I mean? This was rushed. So so you can have a good relationship, but it's like you need to kind of get into it for the right reasons and manifest the right person and take your time. I know it sucks. And you can do what you need to do. I mean, you can join dating apps. You can go out and meet people. But I just feel like I feel like you ignore the red flags with this connection. Like you've been ignoring the red flags because you don't want to be by yourself or you don't want to deal with this energy anymore. Um. Because it's kind of like, yeah, like you're trying to move forward with this person, but it's like you're not going to be able to. Because this is devil energy. This is toxic. It's like you're trying to just move forward and be like, okay, I'm happy. It's fine. Like sweep it under, under the rug. But it's devil energy. It's toxic. You're not, you're not really happy with this person. You're just telling yourself you are. And again, this is either your story or it isn't. Like, if you leave a comment saying, oh, this isn't me. Like, how dare you? Blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to delete it. I'm sorry. Like, this this is for a few people specifically. So it's either for you or it's not for you. I don't know what else to say. I'm sorry. I'm just putting that out there just because I get, like, when I do readings like this where it's like I tell people things they don't want to hear, I usually get a lot of comments below with people getting pissed off that I that I've said this. And I'm like, okay, someone needs this message. So I'm going to I'm gonna give this message. You know, it's either for you or it isn't. But, but anyway, I'm sorry. Anyway. The sun, it's like, yeah, you guys are moving forward. But it's it's like, it's going to be blocked because it's devil energy. It's toxic. It's, it's, this is like old patterns. It's almost like you might have taken a leap of faith with this person and they weren't your usual type. And now you're going back to this old pattern because out of like insecurity and pain and whatever else, you're going back to this devil energy, old toxic patterns. 
you know. So you can't really move forward with this person. I mean, you can try to, but it, the devil energy is going to come up. This, the old patterns are going to come up. And I think that you know that. I think that you've been ignoring your intuition. Um, it's almost like you've been trying to, it's like you want to build with somebody. You know, you want to build with somebody. You want, you've been trying to manifest this connection. But I just feel like you... Like you jumped the gun here, you know what I mean? Like you were starting to manifest the kind of relationship you wanted, but then it's like, sometimes when you do like love drawing spells or like love drawing rituals, you attract anybody that, from what I've seen, sometimes when you do like love drawing, you'll attract people that have feelings for you. And sometimes that's toxic people. So some of you might have done like a love drawing ritual or something, or like put the affirmations in to draw love to you. And then you have like this toxic person come in or this toxic ex. And you're like, okay, I'll take it. I'm lonely. You know? And it's like, no, you got to wait. You got to be patient. And you got to wait for the actual right person. You know what I mean? Don't just go to the first offer. There's, there's, a, there's gonna, there was going to be a better offer coming in. But you took the first offer here. You know? This could be someone like you met like at a bar or a club or something as well. Um... Have you guys seen the show Shadow and Bone, that Netflix show? The love story there reminds me so much of that, where she kind of goes for the, the boy next door type in the end. She goes back to him because she realizes this man that seems so powerful is actually just evil and has dark intentions. So she ends up going back to her true love, the boy next door type. Um, what's up with this King of Pentacles, though? Because he's seeing this. I'm getting this. I don't know if it's, he's, he's like on your social media or you talk to him about this stuff or what it is, but it's like this man is seeing this energy and he's like, no, she deserves more. Like he, It's like he's aware. He knows what's going on here. He knows this whole thing. He knows what's happening here and he knows that you deserve more. But it's so strange. It's like I think he just took too long. I think he thought whether this was a friend that maybe it was like a friend and he wanted things to develop naturally between you two or um, and maybe he's in a connection and he's trying to get out of it, but he was hoping like things would naturally progress between you two. Maybe, um, you know, like I said, it could be someone that you just didn't want to wait for anymore. But let's see what's going on. What's going on with this King of Pentacles? Tell me more about the King of Pentacles. It's like he really wants to reach out. He really, he wants to say something too. He wants to say something about this. Like, hey, you don't deserve this. You don't deserve this energy. You deserve more. Hermit, Eight of Cups. Yeah, it's like he wants to start a new life with you, but he's keeping it to himself. You know, Hermit, Introversion. Not telling you he wants to start a life with you. Ace of Swords. I feel like he's willing to fight for you too. Yeah. I feel like he's willing to fight for you. There's like a really interesting love triangle going on here. He don't want. He wants to come in quickly. He wishes he had fought for you before. The world... If you're using if you're using this other guy to make him jealous, it's working. Let me tell you. The fool, the justice. Yeah, you have justice here because you deserve a new start. You have waited long enough for your new start. You have been through enough already. So you have justice, whether it's this King of Pentacles or some someone new. But your spirit guides do not want you to stay stuck with this toxic emperor. Whoever this toxic emperor is, like your spirit guides want more for you. They don't want you to be in this connection that might turn abusive like you might be seeing red flags that this person could turn abusive and you're correct in that assumption um but there's justice here you know nine of wands uh final battle queen of pentacles yeah because there's like a situation where two people wanted to talk but they weren't but there was true love there but they weren't communicating they weren't seeing each other for what they weren't seeing what was really there nine of swords and nine of cups yeah, someone's gonna like someone's gonna be brave here, I think. Someone's gonna eventually sooner or later be brave and, and make the effort towards you and move forward with their emotions. You know, express love to you. Knight of Swords and Knight of Cups. That's a good combination. Tower. It might be a shock to you. It might be a shock because you might be studying and doing your own thing on your own path, and then you have this 
the, this tower come in, this message that you're not fully expecting where you're like, dude, I haven't talked to you in two years. You love me? What? Or like, I thought we just want to be friends. I thought, I thought you were on the same page with just being friends. Like, wait, what? <laughs> like, what's going on? <laughs> the High Priestess, Two of Wands, looking at things in a long-term view, King of Swords, King of Wands. Yeah, yeah, you got two men here. You got two men here. I'm just like, I'll pull all of them, all the tarot cards, always. Yeah, someone's healing. It's almost like you were like healing, like you were moving forward. And then you went back to the same cycle with somebody else. Three of swords again. Or you felt like you couldn't move forward, like you felt like you were too heartbroken and you just needed like a distraction from the pain kind of energy for some. Like I said, there's a couple different stories here. So, you know, like some of these messages are going to be specific for, for specific people here. Please keep that in mind. Yeah, you needed to go through with the star though. You know, you have like anxieties and fears and whatnot, but you know what? I think those have to be worked through. You have to do the shadow work. And with the star here, it's like you have to keep planting the seeds because it's almost like you're planting the seeds and you're like, screw it. I'm so tired of being alone. I'm so tired of waiting for this person. I'm so tired of this and that. Screw it. I'm going to go meet somebody or I'm going to go back to my ex or this. And it's like your spirit guides are like, dude, don't don't do it. Don't do it because you have your you have someone coming in. Ten of cups that, you know, mutually mutual giving and receiving like mutual balanced energy, because with this emperor, you're not getting the same energy you're giving him. You're looking at him, you're you're trying to have his back, and he's looking at other women. He's cheating on you, or he's in love with somebody else. He's this is like player energy. This is like this is like lust energy. It's not like long term, you know what I mean? Unfortunately, it's just and you know that. Intuitively you know this already. But yeah, it's like you're planning on you're tired of planting the seeds. You know, you have this anxiety, you're like, are my ships ever gonna come in? Like Am I ever going to get out of this phase, out of this depression, out of this loneliness? Am I ever going to find my Ten of Cups? And it's like, I think, how do you find your Ten of Cups? How do you, what is there, what's the advice? I just feel like, I just feel like you, you jumped the gun there where it's like you were kind of just so tired of waiting that you just went back to what was familiar and comfortable and you needed to keep going forward and, and keep changing those patterns. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, it might take a while, you know? Sometimes if you have toxic childhood wounds and, and patterns, um, I don't want to say toxic childhood wounds, but you know what I mean? Like, ne like negative, painful childhood wounds in patterns, like subconscious patterns. Sometimes that takes counseling. Sometimes that takes a lot of work. You know, Knight of Pentacles is like a very slow moving knight, but they're, they're loyal. They're stable. They're grounded. Um, so then a wand is like defending yourself, your, your territory, your, your sacred space, protecting yourself, protecting your integrity, protecting your passion, protecting your heart protecting what's yours. So it's kind of saying like, yeah, it might take time to end these patterns. Like it might be a cycle, but you, you, you got to keep moving forward with it. You got to keep ending these patterns. You got to keep realizing what you deserve and building yourself up and stepping out of your comfort zone. You know, I'm just seeing something happen where it's like you went right back to old patterns and it's not too late. You can still get out of this and you can still get back on track. You know, your guy just want to see you get back on track and away from this emperor and either go back with this King of Pentacles that's shy and sweet or manifest somebody new. But it's almost like you were manifesting and you got impatient because your manifestations were not coming in soon enough. Um, or you did like a love drawing ritual and you just went with the first offer and your spirit guides wanted you to wait for the next offer that was going to come in. And they wanted you to, to, you know, continue. It's like you just, you, you jumped into something too quickly with an emperor and your spirit guides want you to get back on track and protect yourself, protect your energy be mindful, you know, take the time and effort, be loyal, have integrity to go down your destined path and to manifest the, the love and life you deserve and manifest somebody that's going to give you the same energy you give them, you know, you, it's, it's like someone was saying, I, I, there was like a meme I saw where it was like, narcissists are attracted to everybody, everybody, they'll try everybody, they'll try to get what they can out of everybody. The issue is not the narcissist. The issue is why do you allow them to stay, you know? Like, you have to kind of take accountability here. And I'm not saying that you're, like, I'm not saying, I don't want to say you're at fault. I'm not saying that, but it's almost like 
I get the energy of someone that's like attracted to a certain type of man or woman and then they say, oh, all men are shit or all women are shit. Well, it's like, no, it's, it's the kind that you're attracting and attracted to. You know, you have a pattern and if you keep going down this path with this pattern, you're, you're going to keep attracting the same kind of men in different bodies, you know? Um, I'm getting this king, king of pentacles is sweet though. This is a loving person. This is somebody that's genuine. So, I mean, maybe you were starting something with somebody new and maybe you got freaked out because it was so unfamiliar that you went back to old patterns. It's like something happened here with this king of pentacles, whether it was a friend or an ex or someone you were getting to know, whatever the situation, something happened where you just, you, you said, screw it. You, you ran or you, you were tired of waiting or whatever it was. And you went back to old patterns. So your spirit guides want you to, 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 yeah, step out of this and continue, you know, with the star energy, planting the seeds, you know, knight of pentacles, de seven of wands, devoting to yourself, to protecting yourself, to living the life you want to live. Some of the, sometimes it does take counseling to end these patterns, but your spirit guides want to see you get back on track, back to manifesting the love that you want. And don't take the first offer out of loneliness or out of heartbreak or for or out of lust or whatever, you know. Develop a genuine soul connection with someone that maybe starts as a friendship first for some of you. But these patterns need to end. It's like you gotta it's you're kinda off your path, but it's time to get back on your path, is what your spirit guides are trying to say here. And again, you can have this King of Pentacles. The Emperor is not for you. You don't want that, trust me. But you can have the King of Pentacles, is what I'm feeling, or you can manifest somebody brand new. It's up to you. But um, but yeah, if this resonates, go ahead and send me an email. I can do a private reading for you. Um, my email is dragonenchantress at awall.com. My email is right below in the description box below this video. Any donations are appreciated. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, thank you guys for watching.